How's it going? We're gonna jump right in today with five things you'll want to do at Vashon Island. After a lovely ferry ride, the first stop is Vashon Island Coffee Roasters. Not only is it a good place to get caffeinated, it's also a remarkable piece of history. Ask about the history of Seattle's best coffee. Check out the roasters that's been providing coffee beans for over 83 years. Pop into the coffee museum to see the old school coffee grinders and pour over contraptions. Keep your kids close so they don't break stuff. If you can, ask for Peter, the master German roaster. He's super knowledgeable and happy to share about the history of the machines. We couldn't afford to stay here very long because we had our whole day trip planned out, but I could easily spend a couple of hours here. If we ever do come back, I would come straight back here to talk to Peter and just learn more and explore the roastery. The next stop is the beach. What's great about KVI Beach is the access. You can be from the car to the waterfront in less than five minutes. So if you're the type of family who keeps having to go back to the car to get stuff, this is the place for you. Here you'll get a tranquil vibe, enjoy people walking their dogs, or the space needle in the distance. Let the kids burn their energy exploring the sand, throwing rocks into the water, just being one with nature. If you're enjoying the content so far, would you let me know by hitting the thumbs up real quick? As you're doing that, we're headed to the country store and farm. Bye country store. We went to the store for just a different experience, a break in the routine. With all this COVID stuff, I just can't remember the last time I set foot in a store and I wanted to go to look at trinkets and things I don't see on a day-to-day -day basis. It kind of felt like a touristy gift shop kind of vibe and didn't end up buying anything. But I could see how it could have been different if we went during peak season in the summer when they opened their gardens and things outside to check out too. Regardless, the kids needed some recharge time and the Swedish fish helped with just that. By now, it should be around lunchtime and for all my gluten-free friends, Pure is the place for you. You want to stop here for a refreshing smoothie or juice and some wholesome gluten-free food. Quick note while we're driving downtown, it did look like fun if you don't have kids or if you're bold enough to put them in carriers and strollers, but it's just not our jam in this life stage right now. You gotta give credit to Vashon Island, there's no shortage of food variety. For all my meat eating friends, we opted for burgers and we recommended Island Queen, but since it was closed that day, we settled on Perry's Vashon Burgers. I could go on all day about burgers, so I'll have the little guy give his verdict here. This better or Chick-fil-A? Um, this Perry's Burger? <laughs> Perry's Burger or In N Out? Perry's Burger. Oh, Perry! <laughs> you hear that, Perry? <laughs> Perry, are you in there? <laughs> Perry, you're white. <laughs> How is this, Ozo? Good. Good. Ah, uh, nothing like bonding over burgers. After lunch, we needed to burn our lunch calories, so we headed over to Mori Island Marine Park. We were a little hesitant to go because of the state of affairs, but this was the cherry on top for a day trip, and boy, we're glad we went. I'm not sure if it was the secluded nature of the place, the views, or the fact that our kids fell asleep, and we got to enjoy that sweet golden silence. Perhaps it was all three regardless, sit back, enjoy the sound of the waves, marvel at the different shells and driftwood, and don't forget, Put your phone down, give your kids that extra okay, dose exactly. of attention. That's a boat. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, whoa there. Yeah. Throw it in. <laughs> bye bye, driftwood. On a logistical note, don't let the short hike fool you. It's a serious climb back uphill, but all in all, a worthy endeavor for the views and tranquility and a little exercise never hurt nobody. 
some honorable mentions as we head out of town, we purposely opted out of the old bicycle in the tree in Shingle Mill Creek. The TripAdvisor reviews mentioned the letdown of the bike, and since we're from the Seattle area, Shingle Mill sounded like any other nature walk in our neighborhood, and we didn't feel like we missed out on anything. When, not if, we head back to Vashon, we'll try Island Queen Burgers, stop at the Lavender Farm, and perhaps check out Shingle Mill Creek. Consider subscribing for more helpful videos just like this one. Make it a great day, and we'll catch you on the next one.